Hi Sparkles! Before we start this video, make sure to check out my merch and accessories on my shop on www.cocosparkle.shop. There are a lot of amazing designs just waiting for you. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Roblox to show your amazing love. The link will be in the description down below. Be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on your notification bell so you can enjoy my weekly content. Love you Sparkles! And done! Man, that was actually a really cool task. Learning all about the physique of the warriors and how they fought all those years back. <sighs> Amazing! What are you doing? One of your little projects? Isn't it like due tomorrow or something? Yes, it is due tomorrow, Liliana. Forget about taking my project away from me. It's important that you do your own project and work. You need to learn as it might help you in the future. You never know. What if you want to be a historian? Personally, learning about claymores, ball arms, catalysts, swords, and bows is just generally interesting and fascinating. Pollard? Claymore? Uh, Jane, listen to yourself! You sound just like one of those geeks! I don't want my sister to be one of those people! It would ruin my reputation! It would just stop my fame! Stop your fame? Really? Oh please, it's not like I want to be one of you. The reputation gets to your head. Besides, I don't want all that attention. It's boring and rude. Whatever you say, Jane, whatever you say... Would you at least help me write my project? I have no idea what to do! As I am your older sister, you are obligated to help me! As your older sister, I am obligated to let you do it yourself and figure things out! You are a junior now, Liliana. You can't just force me to do all your work anymore. Liliana! Jane! Time for dinner! Coming, Mom! But Jane, why? School is too hard for such a beauty as myself! Let's go have dinner, Liliana. <sighs> Fine. So girls, how was school today? It was honestly pretty average. The same things just kept happening again, Dad. Just class, class, class. That's interesting, honey. Liliana, if you dislike your school so much, we could always just move you to a different one. No, that won't be necessary. The school is fine, just a bit boring, Mom. Well, if you say so. How about your day, Jane? Can't you see the girl doesn't want to speak, Richard? I'm still surprised you try to get anything out of her. See what I mean? That girl is always alone. She needs to learn to be a little more like her sister. Good grades and a good social life. Aw, thank you, Mom! Ah, oh, good morning, sister. What time is it? Time to go? Mom and Dad have already left the house. They didn't want to wake up their precious daughter. Time to go? But I haven't even begun to get ready! I haven't even done my presentation! I guess you're catching a public bus. No, I can't! I need to get ready and fast! Oh, what to wear, what to wear! What a drama queen. Jane! What's up? Did you finish the project last night? You know we need to present today, right? <laughs> Don't worry, Amber. I've got it all under control. I actually finished the poster last night. Here, let me show you. Uh, it, it's not here. I, I swear I packed it last night. Oh no, this is a disaster! Our school fair presentation will be ruined! It's... It's all right, Jane! With your smarts and my creative side, we can do something together last minute! 
Yeah, you're right, Amber. Thanks for the encouragement. Liliana! Liliana! I have my project for you! No, I have my project for you. Gentlemen, gentlemen. She won't take your stupid projects. Liliana, here is mine. I'll happily give it to you. Aw, that's sweet of you all. But unfortunately, I will have to decline all of your offers. Wait, Wait what? what? You see, I have my own project. I worked tirelessly last night to finish it. <gasps> hey! That's our project, Amber! She stole it! That little backstabbing beauty guru! Hey! Liliana, that doesn't belong to you! <gasps> what a strange rumor! I can't believe you'd accuse me of such things! Stealing me! You must be seeing things, Amber! Ladies, ladies, that's enough fighting! Especially you, Liliana. You don't even have to worry about being upset. How about instead we go about our days and worry about a party coming up tonight? A party at my place. At seven, and you all are invited. Especially you, my lovely angel, Liliana. <laughs> no, Ajax. I can't believe her. It's all right, Jane. We'll finish this project before we need to present it. So, you two are in need of a project, huh? Well, you're in luck. I actually have another project that I won't be using. And why would we take the project from you? I bet it would be so much worse than just handing in a blank piece of paper saying it means to relax. Because you have no other option. Take the project, you get your way. But you need to do a small little favor for me. And what may that be, Ajax? No, oh, it's quite simple. You get the project if you convince your heavenly sister Liliana to come to my party. Amber, this might be the only way. We're going to fail without it. We don't need your charity, Ajax. You have no good intentions behind Liliana going to your party. This is just some little idea that you have come up with so that people think you're beautiful, angelic, and sweet. At least consider my offer. After all, it's the least you could do. Let's go, Jane. I'll make sure you accept my deal, even if it's the last thing I do. Remember class, your projects are due by the end of the day. As seniors, it's compulsory to submit something as it will impact your final grade. Do try and get a decent grade. Um, miss? Can Amber and I speak to you in private? Jane, if you want to say something to me, I'm sure the entire class can listen. We don't do private conversations this year. You need to learn to be more adult-like, as you will not be in school for much longer. I, um, never mind. Sorry to bother you. I'm disappointed in you, Jane. I thought you were better than that. Why didn't you just tell her the truth? Yeah, because she would totally believe, oh, my younger sister stole my project because she didn't have one. Yeah, you have a point there. Oh, Amber, what are we going to do? We have two hours to put together a project that took us two months. Bye-bye, future careers. Maybe... Maybe consider making good of Ajax's offer. It may be the best option we have at this point. Amber, I agree with what you said earlier. Using his work is just as bad as handing in a blank piece of paper. It would be useless. Jane, what other choice do we have? At least it's something. We can always read it and talk if we want to change anything. I just don't want to accept Ajax's work. But you're right. We don't have another choice. Class finishes soon. We can at least mentally prepare ourselves for how bad it's going to be, right? Let's go find Ajax. 
I guess. Ajax, we've come to accept your offer. Oh, not so fast, lovely ladies. You need to convince Liliana to come first. And since you humiliated me earlier by turning me down, I want her to text me that she's coming. Within the next 30 minutes. Uh, but that wasn't part of the deal, Ajax! No, boo-hoo. Sorry. I won't be accepting your silly, sad story. Now, you two have some work to do. Chop chop. <laughs> I can't believe you. Here I was thinking you were actually being nice, but no, you're just being your typical idiot self. I should have expected this. <laughs> Well, Jane, do you know where your sister is? Yeah, we just need to find the crowd of boys surrounding her. Something like that? Exactly like that. I must thank you for all these delicious sweets. But unfortunately, I have my own and I just can't accept all of it. <sighs> it's just too much. But thank you all for spending the time to make all these for me. It was very sweet of you. Can you please leave the boys and quickly see me? Alone? If this is about that silly presentation, Jane, then you might as well forget about it. No, it's not about the presentation. You promise? Yes, I promise. You swear on your heart? I swear on my heart. Say, I, Jane, promise that the conversation is not about my silly presentation. Liliana, just get your butt over here. Fine, fine, jeez, you're so needy. <sighs> what is so important that you must drag me away from my attention, older sister? I need you to go to Ajax's party. Ew, no. I'm leaving. You lost me. Liliana, just wait. If you go, uh, you can make Jane stand out and not be in so much of a social reject. Manage to make her look prettier. It would increase your reputation. Now you've caught my attention. Keep speaking, Jane's friend. It's Amber. Whatever. Wait, no, Amber, this is a horrible idea. Ugh, Jane, let your friend speak for a change. As I was saying, you go to the party with Jane. You have someone to talk to and can avoid all the weird men. Including that freak Ajax? Yes, including him. You interested me. Good. Now, you just need to make Jane beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, but still decent. Make her be a little more social, and your reputation rises. I'm listening. The girl who changed and improved the social reject. Has a good ring to it, right? Hmm. Fine. I'll accept your little offer. Jane, you can use my clothes, shoes, and makeup. I doubt you have anything good looking in that closet of yours. Hey, my clothes are not terrible. Oh, honey. Trust me, they are. Okay, fine, they are. Can I use your phone to look at some ideas? Why don't you just use your own? Because you follow all the beauty beliefs, duh. Hmm, five ugly points. Consider the other options. I like your attitude. Fine, you may have it. But I want it back by the end of the day, Jane. Of course, Liliana, of course. Ta ta! the rules on us. It's just called playing fair. If you say so. Now, come on. Let's go get this project. 
I can't believe we finished that. Yeah, it actually wasn't as poorly written as I thought it would be. And it's pretty similar to the topic we were researching. Luckily. Okay, just submit the project and we can breathe easily. Done! Uh, that's a relief. And just in time, too. Thanks for convincing me to accept Ajax's offer. You're quite welcome, Jane. Anyways, you have a party to go to. You don't want to disappoint your sister. Oh yeah, the party that you dragged me into! <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about that, Jane. Jane! Time to go home! We have a lot of work to do! Oh, yay! Let's go. Did you find anything interesting on my phone? It's just as you said. I have no fashion sense. I'm guessing that's a no. Yep. Bingo bullseye right on the money. <sighs> it's alright. I'll teach you the ways to be beautiful. Right. Bye, Amber. See you tomorrow. Bye, Jane. Good luck. Now, we need to make you socially acceptable. And how do you propose we do that? First of all, an appropriate outfit. One that screams, innocent, but yet again, hot and beautiful. Liliana, please try to make some kind of sense. After that is the easy part, hair and makeup. So let's get started. Disgusting. Really? Not, not girls. What's going on here? Oh, Jane! You look stunning. Your younger sister's work, I'm sure. Yes, my work indeed. I'm so proud of myself. Well, you should be. May I ask what the special occasion is? Hmm. I finally agreed to go to one of those stupid parties with Liliana. Oh, that's wonderful! You're going to become one of those social butterflies like your sister after this. I'm so happy for you, Jane. Oh, wait, let me go grab your father. And there goes Mom. She's right, you know. You do look amazing. Maybe this party will change your mind and let you become a little bit more confident in yourself. Yeah, sure it will. Welcome to your first real party, Jane! How does it look? Exciting, right? It's very loud and colorful! I would rather be reading a book, Liliana! Yo! Welcome to my party, my angel! And her sister! Liliana, as usual, you look stunning! I'm even surprised you dragged Jane along! And made her appear to be at least slightly attractive! What's her deal? Hey, you texted me that you're my date tonight. Remember, my angel? Hey, wait up! And there goes my company. <sighs> I might as well grab some water or something. Jane? Man, you almost look as hot as your sister tonight. Here, take my drink. On the house. Um, thank you? Coming here was not a good idea. I mean, having someone else's drink, it's probably filled up with some nasties. I just pour it out. Hey, watch where you're go- I'm so dead. I'm dead meat. This guy is going to kill me for spilling that drink all over him. Uh, hey, are, are you okay, miss? I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to bump into you like that. I'm fine! If anything, I should be saying sorry to you! 
<laughs> no need to worry. It was an accident. But your nice and clean shirt, oh, it's covered. Um, I'll, I'll buy you another one. Don't worry about it. It's my fault for not watching where I was going. Seriously, it's all right. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you Ajax's crush's older sister or something? <laughs> yep, that's me. My name is Jane, but most importantly, how did you know who I was? Oh, Ajax takes photos of your sister kind of a lot, and you're normally around her in some way. You know, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're actually quite nice. Maybe coming to this party wasn't such a bad idea after all. May I be able to know your name? Oh, shoot. Where are my manners? My name is Aaron. I'm Ajax's older brother. Oh, so that's how you know Ajax so well. <laughs> well, I'm glad the bully and stalker side does not appear as a reappearing trend in the family. So, if you're his brother, then I'm assuming you two go to the same school? Used to. I graduated last year. If your peers heard of me before, don't listen to what they say. I was kind of a jerk in school. But I've changed since then. I began to notice what the real world was like. Right. Well, I'm glad you've improved. I mean, I didn't really hear anything about you until now. Which must be a good sign, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Hey, I can tell that this style isn't you. Did your sister possibly drag you here? Kinda? I mean, it's kinda my fault for ending up in this situation. Liliana stole my end of the year project and claimed it as her own because she didn't want to disappoint the teacher. That's upsetting. I would have never thought that your sister would be such a bad person. Mainly because my brother is always talking about how much of an angel she is. But that doesn't explain how you ended up in this situation. Ajax had a spare project. I assume it was intended to be for Liliana. <sighs> I was desperate to hand in a project, so I took on his deal. Oh no. This can't be good. The deal was I had to convince Liliana to come to this party. If I did that and she sent him a message clarifying she was coming, he would give me the project. I bet he only wants her here so he can at least attempt to get under that skirt of hers. What a stupid little boy. That aside, I'm guessing that you don't want to be here? Oh, your guess would be more than correct. Then how about this? As this party's co-host, I give you permission to leave anytime you want. I'll happily order you a cab to take you home for free. The only condition is that we exchange numbers so I can at least speak to you again. I... you're too kind. Thank you so much. Yes, I will happily accept the offer. Here's my number. It was lovely meeting you, Aaron, and I hope to speak to you soon. <laughs> Likewise. Have a lovely night. What a nice guy. Maybe... Ajax isn't as bad himself. I'd guess he's only like that due to his brother's influence. Mm, whatever, time to get out of these ridiculous clothes. Oh, I think I killed my back for life in these heels. Jane, you're home already? Oh, yeah, Dad, come in. How was the party, honey? It was loud and crowded with people. So you didn't enjoy it then? Not at all, but I did meet this one boy. Jane met a boy? Finally, my little girl will be more like her younger sister. Why can't you just appreciate that I'm the responsible child out of the two of us? How was the party? Did you meet anyone else? Where's Liliana? Liliana is still at the party. I left early. You... you left her behind? Barbara, darling, leave the poor girl alone. Get herself comfortable and go to bed. <sighs> well, good night, Jane. Please
please try to stick around for longer next time. <sighs> well, that's over and done with. Huh? What's this? Oh, it's a text from Aaron. Meet me at the gates of your school tomorrow. I want to go out on a bit of a, a, a date. No way. I, I just I just met the guy. I can't go on a date. I, uh, well, maybe I should give it a try. I mean, he does seem like a nice guy. <sighs> All right, I'll meet him tomorrow. Okay, bye, Mom. I'll be out now. Goodbye. Goodbye. That's strange. She never runs out of the house that excited without telling us where she's going. Maybe she's going to see that guy. I'm glad that party knocked some sense into her. You are unbelievable. You say that to me every day. Where is Jangling in such a rush? To, to meet a boy. boy. A boy? What was his name? Not sure, but I overheard her talking about some guy named Aaron. Maybe that's the guy, sweetie. Why do you ask? Uh, uh, Aaron? Why would she be meeting with him? She met him at the party last night, Liliana. Why do you ask? Um, uh, no reason. Oh, I'm good. It's nice to see that you actually decided to turn up. <laughs> of course I did. It would be rude if I didn't. Well, I'm glad you didn't. I've had too many girls who just didn't turn up. Oh, no, that's terrible. Someone like you doesn't deserve that. <laughs> it's okay. That doesn't matter right now, because you're here. Now, how about we get going and get some ice cream or something? After all, I would love to get to know you a little bit more. <laughs> Likewise. Well, let's get going, shall we? Of course. You first, you lovely angel. <laughs> Liliana! My angel! What are you willingly doing here? Hello there, Ajax. Um, may I come in? Oh, yes, of course. Please, please, come in. Please, please, come in. I have a small deal to make with you. A deal to put it. Yes? What may you like? My sister Jane has begun to develop feelings for your brother. If they were to get together, I would be so upset. You see, my sister deserves so much better and I care about her so much. Okay... Where are you going with this? I want you to help me break them apart. In return, I promise to date you. I can't believe I deny my feelings for you for... Oh, so long, Ajax, dearest. So you're saying if I help you, you'll go on a date? With me? Even better, Ajax. You'd get to date me. Okay, I'll help. I don't care what it is. Just tell me and I'll do it. Tomorrow, when Jane comes here to see Aaron, ensure that he is not home for the first ten minutes. You'll be in the basement when she arrives. When she least expects it, I'll lock her in the basement with you. So it appears that she is cheating on Aaron. Okay. I'll do that. After that, we could be a couple. When he leaves in tears. Oh, of course, Ajax. I'll let you do whatever you want with me. Whatever I want? That's correct. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Ajax. I do hope you agree to stick to the plan. You bet I will, Liliana. I'll date you tomorrow. Mark my words. I'm sure you will, Ajax. That was so much fun. 
He's the first guy I can really connect to, you know? See, I told you going to that party was a good idea. You met the guy of your dreams there. I believe you owe me a thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, Ember. It means a lot. I mean, this guy is just perfect. He's into history and always knows what I'm talking about. We can both relate when it comes down to annoying younger siblings, and he's just such a nice guy. Maybe you should go to parties like that more often. Who knows? Maybe you'll find more friends other than me. Oh, Amber, you're the only friend that I truly need. I wish I could hug you right now. <laughs> it's okay. No need. You'll see me on Mondays anyways. Just another day. But I seriously do think that having more friends may benefit you. You never know. What if I can no longer be there for you? Well, then I'd have Aaron. He'll always be there for me. Ooh, someone's fallen under a love spell! Oh, be quiet, Amber! <sighs> Anyways, I need to get going and get ready to go to bed. What? Do you need your beauty sleep? For your Prince Charming? <laughs> Amber, stop! <laughs> but, yeah, something like that. I'll let you know on Monday. Bye-bye now! Jane, I have something to tell you! Looks like you have company. Have fun, Jane! <sighs> what do you want, Liliana? Don't you know how to knock? Sorry, not sorry, but I overheard your little conversation. So you're going out on another date tomorrow with this Aaron kid? I will 100% support you. I'll teach you how to win your way to a boy's heart. I hope you realize just how strange this sounds. You never want to help me. Which is why I'm doing this out of my trust for our sisterly bond. Truly, from the bottom of my heart. Anyways, you take me to Aaron's house tomorrow and I'll show you what to do. Hmm, I mean, you did help me at the party. Fine, I'll do as you say, but just this once, Liliana. I need to figure out this relationship thing myself, you know. Oh yes, I understand what you're saying. It's very important to do things by yourself and stand up for yourself. I promise tomorrow will be the last time I help you with your relationship with Aaron. You promise? Oh, I promise. Fine, I'll let you come. Just try not to cause any drama, okay? Got it. Good night, Jane. Good night, sister. Bro, wake up. You need to get ready for your girlfriend. <sighs> Go away. Okay, fine. Don't blame me when Jane comes over and you have no flowers for her. Oh no, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for waking me up, Ajax. Be quick, she's expected to be here in the next 30 minutes. Yep, got it! Five more minutes. Better go down into the basement. Here we are! Now follow me! Liliana, that's the door to the basement. Yes, and Ajax said that his favorite sodas are down here. You want to make him happy by giving him his sodas along with you as a surprise. I hope you realize how strange that sounds. Go down into the basement of someone else's house, not to mention how close you suddenly become with Ajax. I thought you hated the guy. I did, but he showed me his true colors and we become quite close. He tells me everything and I tell him everything. Now come on, let's go grab the soda. Liliana, open the door right now! Liliana! 
Liliana! Liliana! Get back here, you witch! Hey, girly. It's okay, it's okay. You're just stuck down here with yours truly. Ajax? <laughs> great, just great. I'm missing my date with Aaron. I've been trapped in the basement by my stupid and jealous sister. And to make things worse, I'm stuck down here with you. Okay, I know this looks really bad, but you need to hear me out. I'm only down here with you because of your sister. She promised to date me if I did this for her. She's lying! What? She would never. She's an angel. Ajax, she's my sister. I live with her. And I can tell you right now that she is lying. That's who she is. She lies and lies and lies and her beauty solves whatever little problem she gets herself into. And I despise it. You being here does not help at all. You're just another person she has wrapped around her little pretty fingers. Well, I'll tell you something. I will not let my younger sister take control over my life! Whoa, whoa, C calm down, calm down. I mean, how could I say no to her? I've been admiring her all my life. And when I finally have a chance, of course I have to take it. <laughs> Listen to yourself, Ajax. Your entire life has been created around the likes of this girl. Don't you want to just... Do something that you want to do? Something that for once doesn't involve my sister? Even if I did, I'd still be under control at home. W what do you mean by that? My parents are always busy with work. Most of the time, they're across the world traveling for it. Leaving Aaron in charge of the house and me, apparently. As I'm not an adult, I have to do everything he tells me to. Everything? He trained me to become the school bully so I could push people around at school. So it wouldn't ruin the family's image. He forced me to host that party. I didn't want to. Mom and Dad would kill me. But he told me to. It's probably all part of some strange twisted plan of his. You know, you and I are actually quite similar. We both have bossy siblings, which most of the time we can't stand. Why don't you and I find a way out of this basement and get what we both want? You stand up to your brother's wishes and I go out with... Aaron. Jane, I think you're a part of his twisted plan. I wouldn't be thinking about still dating him if I were you. Your sister's probably involved too, unfortunately. I know, and that's the hard part. How about we just listen in on the conversation they have, hmm? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Hey, I understand this may not be the best time, but I just want you to know why I've been obsessed with your sister. You see, the truth is, is I actually love you, Jane. I have always loved you. The only reason why I was stalking your sister was because it was the easiest way to get closer to you. Closer to you without being weird. After all, it's not like I was Liliana's only stalker. Ajax, I... I have no idea what to say to that. I'll let you think about it for a bit. You listen to their conversation as I pick this lock, okay? Whew. Please tell me they're both down there, babe. Oh, you know it. It was so easy to convince the two of them, too. I guess they aren't as smart as they think they are. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're both so blind. I think it's amazing that your sister actually believed your little act. I mean... Who would actually love her? I feel so bad for you, babe. You actually had to pretend to love her. It's alright. It's all to give them both a reality slap. They both really need it. Thinking they can boss us around. Unbelievable! Even my parents think she's an embarrassment to our family. What makes her think she has the right to treat me this way? Oh, I agree with you. Maybe this will finally put my little brother back in his place. Following what I say without asking any questions? I would like to have my assignments back from him. I want my good grades back. You are cheating on me? Oh no! Guess the secret's out. What a shame. I hope you both learned your lesson. Oh! Oh, oh I, I did. I learned that you aren't some angelic child, but in fact, a devil. I'm sure the police would love to have a say in your little kidnapping plan. Police? police? Uh, listen to yourself. You can't report us to the police because we locked you in a basement. Actually, we can, Aaron. If you never taught me how to pick a lock, 
we would have been stuck in there for a lot longer than what we really were in there for. Well, you don't have any proof! <gasps> you're... you're right, we... Aw, actually we do! We recorded it all and sent it to the police, and they're on their way. <laughs> I hope you're both ready to spend a long time in jail. Ajax! You can't do this to me! I practically raised you! You might have... But that does not change the fact that you're just a bully of a brother to me. And I hate you for that. Put your hands up! Both of you! Liliana and Aaron! You both are under arrest for kidnapping! You have the right to remain silent! This is going to dim my bright and shining light! Seriously? That's, that's what you're worried about? I should have never fallen for you, you psycho! Right back at you, buddy! After that day, everything just improved from there. Ajax explained to me that he kinda knew the entire time that Liliana and Erin were together, but decided not to tell me as he didn't want to hurt my feelings. He also told me that whenever Erin and I went out for a date, he would tell him everything that I enjoyed and all of my interests, especially what to say back. Which means that I just fell in love with the wrong guy. Ajax was always the one for me and I was just too blind to see it. After that, Amber, Ajax, and I began to hang out a lot. We were the best of friends, got along really well. And over time, I developed a small crush for Ajax and decided to accept his confession all those weeks back in the basement. So, will you be my girlfriend, Jane? Of course, I'd love to! <laughs> yeah.